Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Sims 3 speed build. First of all, before I get into the build, I thought it was Saturday. I like it today's Monday. It's not Saturday, it's like not even Sunday. But I was sitting there last night, Sunday night, and I was like, hold on, what day is it again? Check it and it's Sunday. Sunday night. So I apologize for there being no speed build on either Saturday or Sunday, but you will be seeing it on Monday instead. Wait, today's Sunday. I was at Saturday night and I was like, oh yeah, okay. And then I woke up and I woke up at 10 o'clock on Sunday. So no video would be going out today anyway. So yeah, you're seeing it Monday. I'm all messed up at my times. Like literally, you can tell. Basically, I've just gotten off school for my midterm break, my Halloween holidays. So I'm all over the place. Like genuinely, like I don't even know how, but I'm all over the place. But anyway, right before I started this voiceover, I was moving my microphone. Is that a microphone arm? Moving it. The microphone arm hit one of my magnets that were on my radiator, knocked it off, and it broke. Knocked the head of it. It's basically like a statue from Denmark, the Little Mermaid statue, and the head of it came off. And I've already had to glue that on before because it has already broke previously. So that is amazing. But whatever, it's fine. But anyway, this house is called Bridgeland. We're finally getting into the build. This house is called Bridgeland. It is a beautiful home. I really like it. I love the garden. I love the garage and everything and the way that's at the side of the house. Um, no, it's really cool. I really have. I'm really happy with it. It is, of course, up for download for you down below. And yeah, I don't remember anything about it, but you will see it as it goes on. But I, I'm in the middle of building another house and this house is white. You'll see it as it goes along. But then I was building another house and I also made that white, but I don't know why because I, I don't really want to build or upload two videos that are very similar colors like one week after another. I just don't like that. Not that I don't like it. It's just like, you know what I mean? I want to mix it up a little bit, do some different things. But this house is gorgeous. I love it. It's really big and the I'm really happy with the gardening. I've been trying to do it like differently. I've been trying to change it up a little bit, make it really detailed and stuff like that. Um, and I'm very happy with it. But oh my god, I have been addicted to Sims 4 recently. I wake up, load up Sims 4, and that is like my game for the day. <clears throat> and sorry. And I really like it because I've been getting so much custom content and I have just been like creating Sims and building houses. But like with the gameplay, I have so many mods for gameplay, but I can never I can never get into it. And it's not really like, I think it's me. It's not really like a game issue. It's me. I just, I'm not able to, you know, get interested in it. And I don't really know what to do. I'm thinking, should I start with like a pre-existing household already in the game and then start playing with them instead? I Like, you know what I mean? So their story is already made. And I just kind of, I'm playing with them, continuing on their story. I'm not really sure. I don't really know what to do. If you have any tips for kind of getting into gameplay, let me know. I would really appreciate it. But anyway, I'll see what I do. I'll see what happens. But thank you to everybody joining my Discord. I have been like obviously active there. I just haven't really been posting on it, talking in it or anything like that. So I'm sorry. But like I want to be active. However, I just like I don't know. I just forget about it like all the time and I never kind of think about it to be like, oh, I need to post on Discord. I need to send my build like the video link so people know I've uploaded I always forget about that and I used to have a bot like a you can you know add bots to your channel so they will automatically post when you upload on YouTube and things like that however the one that I used to have that did that since so I deleted my server an old one and then I made a new one and I used to have a bot on the old one that would automatically you know send links when you uploaded a new YouTube video however now you need to pay like a subscription to that discord bot to use it like that which is insane considering before I did not have to do that and it was free and now you have to pay but there's so many other ones that do the same thing that are free so I need to look into that because it'd be very handy just in case you know you're in my discord because I see I do it on twitter I obviously post when I'm on twitter or post on twitter when I've uploaded a new video but um it's just like another social media site you know to use and obviously I use instagram too but I'm not active on Instagram other than when I've uploaded a video just because I just have nothing to post. I'm very boring and I have nothing to post at all. But yeah, um, is anybody doing anything for Halloween? That's obviously on Tuesday. 
which is so crazy how close it is and like I've been like oh Halloween's like you know it's coming up it's really close so excited and now Halloween is literally in two days which is crazy but I'm not doing anything for Halloween there's like friend there's like a thing go there's like you know friends hanging out and stuff however I have no interest in that whatsoever I would much rather be sat in my room all by myself playing sims all night like literally that is like the dream for me so I am not gonna be going out for Halloween or dressing up I'm not dressing up either let me know if you are I just you know never really do and especially since I'm not going anywhere I just don't really feel like doing that but yeah let me know if you are dressing up I would love to see that I've seen you know people on Twitter like talking about it and everything like that and it, like it just gets me so excited it's just so so good oh my god as well last night clocks went back obviously which was great last night as in Saturday night Saturday night clocks went back so we get an extra hour in bed which is amazing but Matthew Perry from Friends Chandler from Friends passed away oh my god I was shocked to read that and see it on Twitter obviously on Twitter there are so many accounts that like post news but then you also sometimes see some that post like fake news and I thought it was going to be one of them that it was just like it wasn't real I was like oh my god that is so shocking when I scrolled more and I saw more people talking about it I was shocked genuinely it was crazy but um that's so sad um of course it's sad but um yeah no I it was terrible I'm trying to think what else has been happening oh we watched I watched scary movie last night with my family and oh my god it had only just started and I was thinking of everything that was happening in it and like I was just laughing so much to myself I, and like on the screen at the current moment there would be things that like would be so boring and nothing ridiculously funny but I would be laughing like crazy because of how funny it is but I had like a little mini goal for myself at the beginning of the month and I was like okay I'm gonna watch a horror movie or like just some kind of Halloween-y movie every single day one movie a day and um I did not do that at all basically I saw Coraline on like the fourth and then I don't even know what else like literally I've seen about eight movies this month and it is now the 29th so that's great and like half of the movies that I've seen this month I saw yesterday like I just saw a bunch yesterday for some reason also Five Nights at Freddy's came out two days ago saw it in cinema with my dad and my brother and it was interesting like it was I think it was good however because I you know because I know the games and you know how the animatronics act in the games they're trying to get you and kill you and stuff like that you know if you're not familiar with the games you're basically a security guard looking after this pizza place while animatronics are loose roaming around trying to get you to turn you into an animatronic so you need to like you know check the flashlights check the cameras and also there's so much to do but basically the movie came out where it's like a, a security guard is looking after the pizzeria and animatronics are you know roaming around however he is doing that for a couple of days then he gets his sister in for like one day and the sister befriends all the animatronics obviously because the animatronics are like kids it makes sense but then I'm not sorry spoilers sorry for spoilers but I should have probably said that but anyway if you're gonna see the movie don't listen to this but they start building a pillow fort the animatronics they start picking up chairs building a fort then the next scene after they've done that they're all laying down like including animatronics they're all laying down on the ground just as if they're like looking up at the stars and literally as soon as I saw that like that was like kind of middle of the movie as soon as I saw that I had like lost all hope for it genuinely like it was okay it was okay it was just I wanted more like gore I wanted it to be more of a horror movie rather than just like whatever that was I don't even know and then another thing we were waiting in the queue also yeah if you you can look you can listen now if you want to see the movie maybe I should put it on screen that's gonna be spoilers whatever I don't know maybe basically we were waiting in line to order our tickets and sweets and popcorn and whatever and a group of like teenagers in front of us they were like not able to get into the movie because it was a 15s and they were obviously 15 or something 
and they were like ringing parents and stuff like that and then like a manager or something came over and she was like okay how old are you like to each person and they were like oh well one person in the group was like we're 16 16 16 16 that guy is 15 and then the manager was like okay all ye can go in but he can't go in the 16 or the 15 year old cannot go in and I was like oh my god if I was that like friend who was 15 and all of my friends were like oh yeah he's 15 he can't go into the movie I would never speak to them again oh my god I felt so bad and then so obviously the rest of them could go in and he couldn't so they left they literally left their friend like excuse me what like because basically we were, we were in the cinema sat at our seats and then we see all of them running in with no with the, no 15 year old so they obviously had left him he must have gone and collected or something but that is so sad like honestly that is so sad and that is so mean of the friends I would have been like oh yeah we're all 16 like excuse me that is so horrible like if that was me I would never speak to them again I don't know what I would do I would like I would be so angry you've been waiting months and months to see this movie you're in the cinema you're literally in the cinema about to buy your tickets and then you can't go in because your friends ratted you out and said you're 15 oh my god that is so bad that is so bad but anyway at least other friends got to see the movie but um no it was it was okay like I think if you're gonna see it watch it but um don't like take it seriously don't be like expecting it to be exactly how the games are or anything like that just think of it as a fun movie like try and try and separate it from from like the games you know what I mean if you know the lore cool whatever try to forget that and just watch the movie because they explain it all in the movie um and stuff like that don't don't expect it to be incredible (laughs) basically don't expect it to be the best movie you'll ever see all year because uh it is not the best movie you'll see all year but whatever anyway I am trying to think what else to talk about I feel like I had so much yet in the first like five minutes of this voiceover I spoke about everything like you know all discord and everything like that trying to think anything happening oh yeah Mr Beast apparently I see I don't know anything about it Mr Beast did a hide and seek I think it was a couple years ago I don't think it was even recently a couple years ago where him and a bunch of youtubers were doing hide and seek obviously and he like the way it was edited it made the actual real top three not look like what was shown in the video does that make sense as in he showed like oh logan paul and other people as being in the top three whereas it was actually rosanna whatever her name is and other youtubers and she was like oh like it's you know i've been edited out of it i actually was in the top three and he made it look like i did much worse i get what she's saying like i do get what she's saying but like it was years ago no i'm not trying to like says she can't say anything about it but like oh my god I was expecting it to be like a video that came out that week not years ago but like I feel bad because everyone in her comments and in her replies on Twitter are like oh whatever no one cares uh all stupid things like that and I'm like oh my god she's just sharing stuff of that happened that made her feel like bad and you know what I mean it didn't didn't obviously make her happy and people are like hating on her so much like oh my god that is so horrible but I, I'm not fully caught up with it because I don't really even know what's happening but oh whatever anyway this house on the front porch you will have seen I've just like done it I imagine I wanted the front door on the left hand side windows on the right hand side the steps going up also on the left I was trying to place them in and it would not work at all I think it was something with like the terrain not being flat or something like that as you can see now they're on the right hand side it's just a bit annoying because the garage is on the right hand side so when you walk down the steps you're like walking onto the garage it was just kind of awkward and I didn't really like it it works and it's good enough for me it's just not exactly how I wanted it to be and it's not overly perfect either but whatever but this house is beautiful I love it um and I don't I think I saw again like you know the way the roof and like the bit of thing above the garages the walls and the roof when I used the terrain to like make it lower than normal walls 
I think I saw something like that above a garage and I was like oh that is gorgeous let me build a house and attach that kind of garage to it because I really like it I think it looks really cool so that is exactly what I did I built the house and then I built the garage attached to it and I'm pretty sure I've done garages like that before or ones where I didn't actually edit the terrain or edit the level of it but I think making it shorter than actual walls looks so good I'm very very happy with it and then I think soon I go back to the living room because in the living room I um what was it yeah I make a little like chess area on the right and oh it looks so so good and so cozy and I'm very happy with the living room and there's like brick walls around the living room oh, it looks so good I'm very happy with it but I'm trying to experiment with different things different patterns and all sorts like that really trying my best to you know go a little bit crazy and try new things and everything like that which you know what I mean that'll be really fun you know when it when I do that because I really like how it looks but I need new patterns and stuff like that you know the way the cushions here I use that leaf like for the, the you know what I mean you could see it I use that all the time and I want more patterns like that that I can use for cushions and stuff like that because I you know what I mean I use cushions a lot and I would like more patterns that are like that you know um and there's another one in fabrics and it's like green and white like neon green and white and it's like the white is kind of a cool shape it's making almost like diamonds kind of thing it's hard to explain but those two I believe they're like praline sims or something um and I use them way too much but I really like them also wood floor I need more wooden floors so if you have any links to you know the way the wooden floor that I use I don't really like the base game kind of ones I like not even realistic but that kind of more look to it if you have any links or you know any creators anywhere I don't care what website it's on as long as it's safe obviously but even sims resource I know it's a pain but um even there let me know and I can download it from there I just love more different textures and stuff like that and you don't even have to be wooden or like the one for the cushions I was saying anything I would love anything I would really appreciate it but yeah that'd be very cool I am planning on making more parts for my pets let's play obviously I've got two parts currently but I have been wanting to get into gameplay and stuff like that I just kind of forget where we left off I know we did the competition and I don't think we won it so I think my next like I think when I get into the game the next thing is to do that is to like you know train really well and win the competition I think that is what I want to do next I'm not sure I'll figure it out I'll see what happens and I will see but when I, when I obviously the next part comes out you'll see you'll get into gameplay but I, I think I need to watch my previous parts to remember the story and remember what previously happened and stuff like that because I they literally completely forget I don't remember whatsoever what has just happened in it but anyway hmm, what else has been happening I don't think like literally I haven't done a voiceover in like an actual week and I don't have any news at all which is really weird actually because normally I've got so much but I think I had news and then I just it's all gone I just said it all but anyway whatever gorgeous home um I don't think I furnished bedrooms I don't normally I just don't think I did this house because I was like you know what I mean the rest of the house is gorgeous and I have no time or patience to be furnishing bedrooms I find them so boring to furnish because like I don't know what to do I don't know what to do to make it more interesting and I feel like whereas living rooms you could do all oh, crazy colors and it's a bit more experimental whereas a bedroom you want it to be calm you want to be able to sleep in it and not be wide awake because there's a neon pink duvet cover and like a crazy walling and stuff like that you want it to be nice and calm but then I can't really experiment with that because it ends up looking so boring or too crazy or whatever so I don't know also I really want to get into house flipper again I've been meaning to play it but I don't I can't it's not working for me so I need to try and figure that out and play it because I've been really really in the mood to just just decorate in house flipper and stuff like that I really want to and um yeah I think I'll try and look into that later on 
because that would be really cool to just be like you know ah oh, another game where you could decorate houses i probably wouldn't do videos on it because it's not as interesting as sims but whatever i'll see anyway we're coming towards the end of the speed build i am so sorry i was just speaking absolute nonsense for all of this like half of the time i don't even know what i'm trying to say i'm just kind of spewing words and hoping they make sense to you but this house of course is up for download on mediafire the link will be in the description down below and i'm sorry that you were seeing this so late i might even get it out sunday night like tonight basically instead of being monday so i can get it out but um it might be a nice little like evening video for you to enjoy but have a very good halloween stay safe if you're going out anywhere stay safe and let me know what you're dressing up as or what your plans are let me know if you're doing anything fun because i'm obviously being boring and staying here by myself but anyway i will leave you here for the screenshots screenshots are coming up enjoy them follow my socials twitter instagram join the discord i'm trying to be more active in discord and um yeah i will leave you all here for this video so goodbye